before in unrelated matters. But I'm, I'm the judge taking over this case now. So go ahead and have a seat. Woody back on the stand. Oh, hell no. Nigga, kill over a bitch, but let a rat keep his life. Do me this favor before we get into this video. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Appreciate you. I'm just trying to beat the odds and you can help me. Hi, good morning, Mr. Copeland. I'm Judge Whitaker. I think you've been before me before in unrelated matters. Hi. I'm, I'm the judge taking over this case now. So go ahead and have a seat. Um, what I want to ask you right now, I know that you um, have been given um, immunity with regard to your testimony. Um, and there had been at some point you didn't want to testify at some point you did want to testify the first question i have for you i know when to testify okay the, the first well right want to is maybe the wrong term but my question for you right now is do you have an attorney at all i don't know you don't know whether you have an attorney i would think that would be a no then if you don't know whether no, so you i was talking to melanie but Melnick? Yes. Okay. Um, didn't you, didn't he ask to be relieved as your attorney and did you sign something saying that's okay, you can get out of this? I don't, I don't. You, you don't remember? Okay. Does anybody know whether that actually occurred? I don't believe it occurred. I, okay. I believe that Miss Bumpus, um, I know she was stand-in. She, she was stand-in, and, and I believe something was said on the record to the effect that Ms. Bumpus was was relieved. But Yeah, I know I she was. There but... was nothing about Mr. Melnick, to my knowledge. Okay. Maybe we... There was. Ms. Ms. Bumpus actually said um, yesterday, I believe, during her testimony, that Mr. Melnick had directed her to tell Mr. Copeland that uh, he could either exercise... His, you know, well, she's not thing, to testify, right? Or if he chose to testify, according to Miss Bump. Yeah, I remember she said, "There's this paper I'm supposed to get him to sign." I'm trying to figure out whether it got signed. So I never got Mr. Nelly off my case. Okay, so he's still your attorney then. I guess. Okay. All right. Well, then that's the answer we've got for that. All right. So. Um, I'm going to try to get a hold of Mr. Melnick and see if he can be here with us this afternoon because um, some of what I suspect you recall when you were brought into Judge Glanville's chambers with Ms. Bumpus and a couple of the people from the state, and um, there was a discussion that Ms. Bumpus and Ms. Hilton and Judge Glanville had with you. You asked some questions. They gave you some information. Some of that information was not actually factually correct. Um, and I want to make sure that you have the opportunity understanding what it is that the immunity order means, understanding what the potential consequences are if you do testify or if you don't we're basically going to kind of start over and so if do I that don't over. Testify, I would, huh? so if i don't testify how long are you gonna hold me in jail so i mean that's still an issue that um you can be held in jail through the end of this trial but i'd rather have mr melnick here to uh advise you about the potential drawbacks of and benefits of what if there are any this of any of right your hmm? to the end of this trial yes not the other people. Not as far as I believe, but the state, what, did you want to do some further research on that? Yes, just to advise the court okay. of... Okay, so I just wanted to know, first off, do you have an attorney? Because if you do have an attorney, then your attorney may have some information, advice, and research for me about that. So I want to make sure that I tell you the correct thing about that, okay? So um, we're going to take a lunch break in a little while, and why don't we plan to have you back here on standby at least. Um, I don't know who was in communication, but we need to reach out to Mr. Melnick to see what his availability is. Um, so just be on standby in case I need you here like at two or three this afternoon. Two or three? 
Yeah, because we're about to take a lunch break before too much longer. Um, so you're you're okay to leave for the next couple of hours, but stay where the whomever reached out um, from the state can reach you to let you know whether you need to be back here this afternoon or potentially tomorrow instead, okay? All right. All right, thank you. Y'all, y'all know he pissed. We got Woody back on the stand. He been out doing 20 V's all in Chicago. DJ U getting to this money, having Menage twice, everything. And he thought it was over. And, and y'all come back with this. This what y'all come back with? Y'all got me back on the stand talking about some. If I don't want to testify. I can go to jail until the case over. Man, look, Woody, you told something. For everybody who think Woody didn't tell and he just this mastermind, this, he the reason everybody getting off. Woody is not the reason. Okay? It's a lot of reasons that Thug is finna get off. Right now, it just looked like they fishing, and they fishing hard. They had nothing. They want Woody to come on there and reiterate, what did you mean by that? What did you mean by this? I already know how they finna play it. And in fact, Woody been on fire on the internet with all the interviews and everything. So he gonna get up there and he's gonna play, he gonna play a role. And this role gonna be so man. What y'all thought Woody was funny the first time? He wasn't trying to be funny. This time he got knowledge of lights, camera, action. So this time he really gonna try to finesse the camera, finesse the DA, which he already think he just really just got over but he didn't which i don't think he think he got over i think that he know what he did which was told put people in a bad situation and he making the best of his situation with being free which i can't be mad at that because that's y'all rat and y'all letting it go like that which is people in my hood that People just let it go like that. So what I'm saying is it's the year of the rats. They're going to tell. They're going to be good. They're going to eat. They're going to continue to get money. They're going to continue to keep them some spicy nuggets on the side. It is what it is. Um, Yeah. That's exactly what's going on. Uh, Woody, I think he do know if he got a lawyer or not. He fired old girl, Bump Bumpkin, whatever, whatever her name is. She was a fill-in for his original lawyer. And it was some said, and I remember when he fired her, he dismissed her. He ain't want her on this case. Um, she said something, but then again, I think that was just a... Woody was just trying to get off the stand at that time and buy some time at that time. That's what I think at that time, because he knew, okay, I got a lawyer and she a fill in. If he not here and I fire her, it buy a little more time, maybe another day, because I don't want to testify. Because they had his back against the wall where he had to pretty much say what they corner him in the sand at that time. So, but... Y'all leave a comment. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Leave a comment. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I'm just trying to beat the eyes. And you can help me. You can help me. Hit the like button.